That's just that's why I call them boomsy flies. That's why I call them boomsy flies. Good morning. I have woken up with two swollen tonsils, which is great. Can you hear the sarcasm? Anyhow, I woke up. I did take the antibiotic yesterday. And I have to say, it doesn't feel like it's gotten worse. Yeah, actually it did. The one side that started acting up yesterday started flaring up. However, the other side doesn't feel worse, so that's a good thing. I woke up this morning at about seven o'clock. I did not get up. I went back to sleep. I was fantasizing and, and, and all kind of stuff, like thinking about dreams and aspirations. And then I fell back to sleep. I woke up after nine-ish. My aunt went to Poke, uh, Pokemon today with her church. And I could have gone with them, but the way my throat situation is set up, I'm like, mm, no. Honey, you know what? Take your time, rest, notification. You don't have to do anything. So I decided to stay in today. I have been working so much, and that now all the stress and everything is leaving my body, or it's not leaving my yeah, it's leaving my body. So all the kind of crap that was suppressed is coming up and showing up and saying, boom, hi, I just take it easy, not stress myself too much, or not worry too much about the fact that my throat is, is acting up. I'm taking antibiotics, and to tell you the truth, I hate taking medicine. I don't take any medicine. I even, at first, um, you had to take malaria pills when you came to this side of Suriname, but now you don't have to do, do that anymore, so I'm so happy about that, but now I'm on the antibiotics, which I can't stand. I don't like taking medication. Today, I am chilling once again. I don't know if I'm gonna do any editing. Editing. Why do I add an H in certain words that don't even have an H in them? And I am rambling and bambling. There goes Dad. He's busy doing something in the yard once again, as usual. So yeah, braiding up the last braids. I don't know if I'm gonna finish them all right now. I'm gonna turn off the camera because I'm not saying anything. Oh! I'm going there. I'm going on an adventure. I'm in the backyard. Oh, it's a huge backyard, by the way. There is apparently is a pig in a cage. Yeah? Oh, yes, he's there. I'm out in the wild, and I see a wild pig. He's in the cage. Let me show you. Look, he's like looking at me. He's like, hello? Oh, he's not that big. Let me see if I can get any closer without having on boots. You know something tell me? He's like, I go put on your boots before you try to do these type of adventure things. Yeah, so he's in the cage over there. I'm gonna put on my rain boots later on. I have me a ball out here in the forest. Apparently, my father killed a bull here in the back here. He, the bull was choking the living crap out of a, and literally choking the living crap out of a chicken. And then my dad was like, no, nope, gotta get rid of you. But the next time he said yes, the next time I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna give it to the Chinese people. Got Chinese people that be eating them snakes. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They be eating that snake meat. So now I'm gonna rake here because I said I was going to do that. I'm going to rake. Is that a. Oh, it's already out. From a butterfly or something. I guess it's a butterfly or more. But it's already out. It is already out. It is gone. It's empty. So I'm gonna set you up. You up. Here somewhere on a block. And I'm gonna get the raking. Cause you need to have your house clean. Your yard needs to be pretty. Like people here always say, you need to have your yard looking pretty. 
I'm itchy all over. Just because it's hot and then I start perspirations. Anyways, let me put you down. Let me prop you up right here. This is the longest rake stick I have seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 mm-hmm. But I, uh, 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 no, ah, uh, that that set you the smell of cream, eh? Uh, ah, they say ah, 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 it's a lugar. Oye, que tiene que ser limpio. Tiene que estar limpio. Vámonos. A limpiar. I am glistening. It's a mosquito bar. The mosquito spray. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Let me sit. I've earned it. My five seconds of raking. Well, it's not five seconds, I've been busy for a bit. I'm glistening because of the bug spray. Because I was hearing a mosquito around my head. I was like, wait, 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 wait. no, 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 no. I did not. I did not agree on you taking blood of mine, so no, I'm not a blood, blood bank, so let's just stop it. Yeah, so I'm sitting a bit. I need to collect all those heaps that I made. All those heaps is like three. But I have to collect those three heaps that I made, and then um, we're going to bring it to the back of the yard somewhere, and we're going to burn it! And if there's something I like to do, it's to burn stuff. So, I'm, I'm gonna take you along. Don't worry, don't worry, you'll see. It is amazing to see how many different types of trees are on this little piece of land. Well, little, well, this piece of land. Let's just call it that. Trees living beside each other, on each other, in each other. And everything is just working well. Yeah, one type of palm tree over there. Over there, there's another type of palm tree. And then you move to this side, and there's another the one over that one it's pretty awesome to see before my dad did his laundry you know what I've been doing I've been washing my clothes while taking a shower so what I had on I wash it I hang it it's done but yesterday I didn't do that because um, I didn't have any water apparently there is a humongous reservoir that word is kind of difficult to pronounce but it's a big reservoir somewhere in the jungle from the army and they share it amongst the villagers however as the village has grown uh, the reservoir has become too small to um, cater to all the villages so what they do around so around the evening time in uh, one village they turn it off and then they turn it on to another village so the other village has water but my dad has reservoirs here so if there's no water, we still got water. So I'm happy about that. So yesterday I was able to take a shower, but I didn't wash clothes. So I think I'm gonna wash clothes after I'm done raking and burning some leaves. I will wash my clothes and I will help um, make dinner. Cause that needs to happen. And as I'm here procrastinating, I'm gonna get up again. <laughs> and rake the rest of the yard.
I'm still sitting. It's only a few seconds later. I'm gonna get myself water first. I haven't really eaten anything because my tonsils hurt. I did eat a donut. Yes, I did. And I ate two oranges. Well, they're actually they're green, but it's an orange. So I'm gonna get a bottle of water. I'm gonna try to drink half of it. Not dry, I'm gonna just drink half of it and then I'm gonna continue because if I haven't eaten, I do need to hydrate because it feels like about 40 degrees out here, Celsius. That is a lot because when I left Holland, it was about what, 20 degrees, 18 degrees maybe at most. So it's a big difference. It's 22 degrees difference. It's a lot, a lot. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get more water. Oh, the lizard's gone. The lizard was eating watermelon and I wanted to show you, but he already left. He's like, I had enough. It's good. He left. Oh, my father's shirt fell. Let me go get that. Let me go get that shirt. Like I had watermelon, I had water, and everything. I just told my dad, like, okay, I'm a rake. He's like, in this heat, are you out of your mind? So, I'm going to take it as his advice and not rake. On this glorious hot day so let me not overdo it and I'm hanging my dad's shirt because it fell um I'm not gonna overdo it <laughs> so I'm gonna wait till it cools down a bit again and then I'll continue I'll continue um, raking the leaves and I hope tonight that we could <laughs> make a little fire these shades are really dark. It's supposedly, supposedly, supposedly um, Polaroid. But with these originies things, you never know if it's really true. I do see a rainbow when I look at certain, like an LCD screen, I see a rainbow. Bon appetit! There's ants on the table, Dad. <clears throat> a lot of little ants. Mr. Man. He doesn't care. Look at him sitting. Look, look at him enjoying. He, look, look at him. Get it ready. Look at him. Get it ready. Look at him. <laughs> oh, enjoying his soup. Yeah. Smack look at her. Gracias, señorita. What are you eating? Let's see what you cooked. Look, my father is the only person I see to sit outside to kill flies. Hepa? How you gonna kill flies and you sitting outside? Well, as soon as they approach me, mm -hmm. they got a slap. <laughs> oh, as soon as they approach him, let's get him a slap. My father funny, he come all the way outside to be shooting flies. <laughs> Is it lacquer? Tastes good? You enjoy your food? Hope you both. So yeah. Let me just sit and chill. And maybe have something to eat. My throat isn't hurting as much anymore. So I'm happy with that. As my dad, as my dad said, if you, if, if that thing would have gone full blown throat infection, done, papa, then it would. If it would have been a full blown infection, then it would have been. happy <laughs> <laughs> but man, look at him. Then he wouldn't have a life. But that's not how he said it the first time. He said, Then you fuck up. Angela had a crack looking at the weekend. She was in the room. Angela had a mind of the And what happened? We have to go back home? Mm -hmm. How old she was? 12 or 13. Boy, that was around the same age. Like me, me and my eldest sister had that. My eldest sister and I, to speak proper English. My eldest sister and I both had 
problems with our tonsils. Um, when I was about the same age, 13, for, and constantly, every like two, three months, bam, it hit you. Two, three months, bam, it hit you. Like, wait, hold on. Hold on. Why? Because we never used to get sick. We never had to go to the doctors, nothing. But the tonsils, whoo! That thing, that thing just, just, it just kills you because you can't, you can't swallow. You can't eat. And then they give you the pills for the, the, the antibiotics. Pills be this big. Like, really? There's no space for it to go down. Not even my saliva can pass through. You want to give me a pill like this. And what happens? You drink it and it's stuck right between your throat like that. Right there. And then you have to keep drinking water to wash it away. Mm -mm -mm. And this is the first time in, I think, 13 years ago that I had it last. Like, I had a problem with it. But now I'm in the jungle. My dad's like, Franny, take care of your antibiotic. Because if it hits you, well, you fuck up. <laughs> And it passa. Dimi, dimi. That's your leg, but that's not that is not the same as that is sorry, um, Quinty, though. Ata, ata, who's that? Ata K. Dimi, ata K. As I'm here in the field, I am practicing lunch. I need to know how to speak this language properly. Papa, um. Uh, uh, Ah. 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 Maar dan hoe dan? Hoe kan ik dat zeggen? Hoe, 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 hoe kan dat? Ufa Aduko. Ufa. Wat zei je? Ufa Aduko. Ufa Aduko. Ufa Aduko. This language, this language, this language. Ja, ik heb mijn eigen Mmm, okay. And I was asking my dad, like, okay, where's the mango trees? Because I want some mango. He's like, yeah, you can only get it in the market. I was like, we're in the forest. Like, how is that possible? And he's like, well, these trees, the mangoes aren't ripe yet. And in other places, the mangoes are ripe. So, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's what the jungle said. You gotta get it in the market because we ain't ready here. Unfortunately, I'm going to sit on in the sun. I know I shouldn't do it. Not, I don't know if it's a good idea. You don't see anybody doing it, but I feel like I need sun because in three, wait, hold on, where are you falling? You're falling. In three weeks, I ain't gonna have not one bit of sun, one lick of sun, nothing. That song gonna be just MIA. It's gonna just be a Philips light, like I like to call it. In Holland, we don't have sun, we have the Philips light. Philips, Philips, whatever you want to call it, because I was saying, I could just hear my sister boyfriend saying, Serana, it's not Philips, it's Philips, or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, Rani, I know. I said it wrong. Deal with it. See, this this is why I don't like this Joby situation. This thing pops off constantly. But my tripod is all lopsided. Oh, let me fix you, fix you, fix you. What is going on with you? Okay, this is not working. There Serani is again. Uh, I just sat in my uh, room for a bit. My dad went to sleep. Everybody seems to be like asleep around this time in the afternoon. It is about like 2.30. Yes, 3 o'clock. 3.10. And because it's so hot, I mean, 
40 degrees Celsius. That's what the temperature feels like. Um, people are not doing anything in the daytime. They do things early in the morning and then um, in the daytime they stop and then at night they continue doing what they were doing. So now I'm gonna get something to eat. See, I'm gonna put my phone on the charger. Yes. Yes. What kind of commercial is this? I'm gonna have something to eat. Where is the rice? Look at the rice over there. I'll fix myself a plate. Now I'm gonna sit outside and enjoy this. Hello, it's time again to continue the raking session that I started this morning. It is starting to cool down. It's not that hot anymore. So I'm gonna do that. My dad was like, yeah, I'm going in the back. I don't know what he's doing. Let me just see what he's doing first. Who am I? Dang. Somebody is screaming. We heard you. Okay, let's see what this, this her hair is doing. I'm not going to do it. You're there. You can't check it in the car. Okay, now you. So I found a wasp's nest, but I think they've flown out. Dad said they're probably gone. Oh, oh yeah. Well, let me go take the. And they live where? Where live on the balcony? Oh, would I put socks for on? Okay. Dad said, get the rainbows. I hope they fit because I have big feet. Size 41. European, sometimes 42. So let's see what size these are. Okay. okay. Let me get these boots, knock them out. Make sure there's no living animals in there. Nothing like this hot. Oh, this so nasty. They're so tiny. I have big feet. Step on the toes, real hard. Make sure there's no animals living inside there. Let's see. I'm trying to see inside the shoe. You know what, I'm gonna get myself socks because I don't trust the situation. Now, the fun thing is finding COVID. I know exactly. Well, I think I know exactly where I put it. When you pack with the system, that's what happens. Socks on. Oh, they fit perfectly. Aren't these sexy boots? Gosh, look at me. Woo! Hearing a sound over here, but I don't know what it is. Them rowdy wild chickens. Okay, let's do this. Father has made a bunch of little fires. I'm like, Dad, really? But everything seems to be all under control, which is really surprising. Should have known. My father grew up in the jungle. He knows what he's doing. And a little city girl trying to be like, Dad! Fix this fire situation. Fire to eat. Ooh, I love playing with fire. I love playing with I like playing with fire. It's so relaxing. There are a bunch of fires going on. There's a fire there. Wait, there. There's a little one that's dying out there. Over there. Over there. 
over here, over there. Father is cleaning the yard. I'm going over to where my dad is at now. Instead of just standing here, to get around this fire. Here. It's not much of a fire anymore, but now it's hotter. Because there's fire everywhere. When it rains, it's full of water over here. The dry season. Yeah, it's quite dry now. Oh, there's a little bit of water. Let me see if there's a turtle. I'm trying to see if there's a turtle here. But there's a little bit of water. When it's wet season, there's a stream that runs through. Is that a turtle? Hold on, or it's a frog. Let me just try to find a little rock or something to throw. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. No. I don't see any turtles. Look, this is this thing. It looks like a mushroom on the inside. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. And it grows in the ground? That's really weird. I've never seen like a mushroom like in the ground. See humongous. Mushroom. Look at this. I thought mushrooms always grew on the side of stuff. Let me take a quick seat here. It is really hot and the chickens are still foraging. Look at them. Foraging away. Yes. I asked my father if, if they don't have forest fires here. They say no in the savannah areas in Suriname. It does happen. But because here it's so moist. The fire dies out on itself uh, at, on its own. They do check on it. And you're like, oh my God, forest fires. I thought of it too. My dad was like, no, it doesn't happen. They don't leave them unattended and leave and they're like, okay, whatever, it'll die out. No, so it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. <sighs> it's a way of cleaning your yard and getting rid of leaves and such. And I love me a fire, I ain't gonna lie. I love building a fire. is hot man and my rake has died oh I'm gonna sleep well tonight yes I sleep real well I needed this vacation I'm telling you I needed this vacation I needed it like my life depended on it I am so so happy I quit my job I need to let you I need to fill you in on uh, how that went and everything having a job that you first you like and then you slowly but surely start loathing it uh, and I didn't want to hold on to something I didn't like nor love so I quit my job I do have to say I did ha I, I got another job I did get another job I was in an interview and they hired me on the spot I meditated on it and somebody told me, yeah, yeah, do it, do it, it's okay, do it. So, do you see these little flies above my head? Can you, can you catch it on camera? So what, was, what sort of little flies are you this? They come up the, uh, on the Well, they're on top of my head. That's the Lembe Lembe. Lembe Lembe. Aruba. Aruba. Yeah, but these lemme lemmes look different. Okay, and they're flying above my head. Look. Yeah, I know. So, you see that? So, 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 so. Okay, I don't know if you can see them, but there's little tiny flies flying up over my head. On the Aruba, we call. Okay, in Suriname, they call the banana flies. Um, fruit flies, you maybe know them by fruit flies on the island of Aruba. We call them lembe lembe. And I like to call them boomsy flies because they're all up in your boomsy, all up in your butt. The reason why I call them boomsy flies is because if you see, if you have dogs in the Caribbean and everybody in the Caribbean knows this, when it's season for these little boomsy flies, 
when it's the, their season just look at the dogs outside they're flying out and they're just flying around congregating behind the dogs behind like right right by the bum bum bumsy they'll be congregating and having all kinds of of meetings and congre yeah they just congregate right near the dogs rectum that's just that's why i call them boomsy flies that's why i call them boomsy flies maybe somebody else know it by boomsy flies too or lembe lembe or fruit flies or banana flicker whatever you want to call it i call them boomsy flies bumbo flies ain't leaving my alone we're going to see the the ape we're going to look for it it's at my dad's cousin's house right it's your cousin right mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to his cousin's house to see the monkey because he said there's one there so I wanted to see it but of course he has to show me where it is because I have no idea where it is we're just passing through people yard hello hello so adorable oh there's a parrot I need to catch up with dad because he's quicker than I am The monkey is now tied up and I don't like that. He usually is loose and he walks around, but now he's tied up for some reason. But this is him. And this is sad. Can you take your name so I'm lost to my sit? Here. I listen to the music and old mu Ooh, put up your skirt. Have your leg open for everybody to see. Stop it. So we saw the monkey and I'm not really happy about it because he usually walks around loose and now somebody tied him up. They didn't, even, they didn't even only put him in the cage but they tied him up on his waist. But his cousin is in the city now and there's somebody else taking care of his house. So my, my dad was like, okay, I'm gonna talk to my cousin as well because this, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why is he tied up? He's like, if this is the way the animal's supposed to live, that's not okay, you need to you release him or give him to someone who can actually take care of him and then he's not tied up like that so yeah it's pretty sad to see and it's a monkey it is not an ape because he has a tail i don't understand why people feel the need to have an animal to own an animal i don't i don't get it just leave the animal be if you want to look at monkeys going to the jungle every day and spot them but that's my opinion and I know a lot of people be like yeah that's how life is no I just don't no I'm not yeah I don't get that I really don't get that so yeah